chasing after some springtime striped bass. Throwing out a nice four inch white swim shad. Really small soft plastics this time of year do the trick. Um, the really big fish haven't trickled in yet. It's still mostly smaller fish. You have a chance of finding some occasional keepers. I think if you're close to the south shore. Um, where I am right now, they're kind of just starting to trickle in. So small, small baits of the move. You don't want to, you don't want to throw out like a 10 inch talking popper right now. Small plastics, fish them slow. Let's see if we can come up with some fish. I'm trying to keep it kind of close to the structure in front of me. Uh, you'll be surprised. Schoolies will literally tuck themselves in, like, you know, just a couple feet off the shore. So you don't really need to send it out too, too far in spots like this. Another key tactic this time of year is to, you know, keep moving. When the fish are like just starting to trickle in like this in early spring, you never know what what pockets will hold them. So don't just stay in one spot and throw out a hundred casts. Kind of move up and down the shoreline. See where they could be tucked in. And oh, it just, it just gives you a little extra optimism when you when you move around instead of staying stagnant in one spot which is key fishing's also a mental game it really is if you don't feel confident fishing a spot you're not going to stay very long I like this, uh, this looks fishy right here. Bet you there's something tucked in here. Ah, oh, the water is super clean. Really clean water. It's almost too clean. Yeah, look at that. Holy moly, this water's clean. This area over here is looking really fishy. We got a little rock jetty. Kind of starts here, shoots out. And uh, I'm betting there might be some striped bass tucked in here. Got a little bit of moving water. Let's give it a shot, eh? Oh yeah. Can't quite tell how big. Crushed it pretty good right on the retrieve. That is looking schooly sized. Yeah. That's about schooly sized. Come here, buddy. Spring bass right there. He's beat up. Or he's really foamy. Oh my goodness. What is this on him? That is not a healthy looking fish. It's got like these bumps all over him. 
Any idea what that is? Yuck. Probably wash my hands after that. All right, so I got one bass under my belt so far. A little guy, and some kind of disease all over it. I'm gonna try going towards the deeper part of this jetty and use a bigger presentation. See if I can get a maybe a keeper. I'm sure if I stay on the shallow side, I can. Keep hitting schoolies, but I'm try moving down and see what happens. I gotta be honest, I've never really fished this part of the wall, so. But I'm seeing a lot of bird activity down here. I can't tell what they're doing. But there's like a good 20 seagulls at the end. There's a couple cormorants swimming around, so it's not the craziest idea. Let's see what I can do. I'm gonna try a larger presentation. I'm trying to stay clear of the really small schoolies. I think this is gonna pay off. Hope it does. Ooh. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. Hit it funny. Didn't know he was really hooked. This must be a little guy. Another little guy. One of the bigger shad, I guess. That's a much healthier looking fish than the last one. Nice and clean, healthy. See you, bud. Well, I finally made it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Right there. Unbelievable, that's a seal right there. I walked from those buildings over there to all the way here. And I fished all along the way. And I got two fish, both schoolies. So, not quite what I was hoping for, but I mean, it's a good workout, I guess. Not quite the outing I was hoping for. Uh, I didn't get skunked, but I walked a long ways for two bass of the schoolie variety. But that's uh, early spring fishing for you. And now begins my walk of shame. <laughs>